I'm going to show you how to prescribe fluids for the four common indications in adults. So from the doctor's view, I'm going to use the request care plans plus add and type in fluid. And you can see there's actually quite a few fluid care plans in there. All the adult ones are up the top, paediatric ones are grouped together and critical care ones are grouped together. Um, they all contain a similar structure with dosing and prescribing instructions. For the adult ones, they follow NICE Clinical Guidance 174. So we'll start with fluid resuscitation, which is at the start of that algorithm. All the plans start with these five steps. And it's important that the indication is considered before prescribing any fluid. Because once you know that, you can choose the right fluid, the right volume, the right duration, and the right reassessment period. For resuscitation, we use plasmolite. Very occasionally on ED, where they need to give concomitant antibiotics through a Y site and need fluid compatibility that use sodium chloride. Let's select plasmolite. We can see there's two required uh, details and the guidance for dosing is in there. So we'd use 500 mils for most people or 250 mils in these particular indications below. So let's type in 500 mils. It automatically puts in the infusion over, click sign, and that is it. The patient will need reassessing after the fluid has been given to determine if a further dose is required. Okay, next in the NICE algorithm is fluid replacement. So let's have a look at that. There are two choices, plasmolite or sodium chloride. Each is chosen depending on whether chloride losses are normal or high. If they're high, use sodium chloride, typically gastric or NG losses. But let's select uh, plasmolite and we can see there's four missing details. The volume to be given is the amount that's been lost in the previous 24 hours or what's pre uh, predicted to be lost in the coming 24 hours. So let's say it's 3,000 mils. Um, and then we'd say that's over 24 hours. Now the next bit that needs to adding is the number of bags required and there's guidance in there to how to set that. So for 3,000 mils, it's going to be three bags. So click details, click three for duration. You can see the bag unit's already been set there and click sign. That's it. The next indication in NICE's algorithm is fluid redistribution. So let's have a look at that. There's dosing guidance there for how many mils per kilogram per hour to give depending on the severity of illness. And there's only one choice, which is plasmolite. So if I select that, and we can see there's four missing details. So the guidance for dosing is uh, repeated down here. Let's use one mil per kilogram per hour. So we've got a 72 kilo uh, individual there. And I'm going to want to give that over a six hour period. So that's 432 mils infused over six hours, which is when I will reassess and determine if more fluid is required or they can flip to a different indication. Um, we've got the guidance for how many bags to set. So this is less than a thousand mils. So I'll set that to one bag. Only part of the bag will actually be given. And there's the order there. The final indication in NICE's algorithm is routine maintenance. So let's select that. You can see we reassess daily in this particular instance. There's three choices. Main to light if potassium levels are normal. Glucose 4% with sodium chloride 0.18 if they're hyperkalemic. Or the same again with uh, 40 millimoles per litre of potassium if they're hypokalemic because we need extra potassium. So let's select that. You will get this interaction alert for main to light because it's not in the interaction catalogues. Just click OK to clear that. You see there's three missing details. It guides us as to how to dose. So 25 mils per kilogram per day round to the nearest 100 mils for most people, uh, but a reduced dose of 20 mils per kilogram per day if they're frail, have renal impairment, cardiac failure, or they're malnourished. So 72 kilogram person rounds to 1800 mils at 25 mils per kilogram per day. And that automatically uh, infuses at the maximum rate for uh, for maintenance infusions. 1800 mils falls in this category here, so we need to change the duration to two bags. And again, it'll be a full bag and a part bag given. Sign that, and that is it.